A version of this article first appeared in the Reliable Sources newsletter. You can sign up for free right here. CBS and Viacom, corporate cousins for the past decade, are now one. Sherry Redstone's long-sought merger of the two media companies took effect on Wednesday afternoon, and Viacom CBS will start trading on the Nasdaq on Thursday morning. So now what? Unlike its streaming rivals, the NYT's Edmund Lee writes, Viacom CBS will focus on supplying films and television series to other companies. Viacom CBS intends to follow a strategy of selling its wares to the highest bidder as demand for original content increases. Lee also says that the deal cements Redstone's role as a trailblazing figure in a male-dominated industry, a woman whose peers now include leaders of media behemoths like Brian Roberts of Comcast and Robert A. Iger of the Walt Disney Company. Is Viacom CBS big enough? The equity value of the new business is about $25 billion, putting it far behind rivals like Disney, which also has a theme parks business, and NBC Universal, which is owned by the cable giant Comcast, Lee notes. Several key advisors to Ms. Redstone have suggested a bigger deal could come in the future, with Viacom CBS selling to a tech giant, four people familiar with those discussions have said. Even so, Ms. Redstone is not in a rush to sell off a business she has just spent years pulling together. Bakish's promise. It's been a long and winding road to get here, Viacom CBS CEO Bob Bakish acknowledged to Variety's Cynthia Littleton in an interview. While the merger is now complete, the new company has work to do yet on Wall Street, Littleton wrote. CBS and Viacom shares have dropped about 19% and 24%, respectively, since the long-expected deal was confirmed on August 13. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, Bakish told her. The people who got in at this low share price are going to be happy campers. Ringing the opening bell. I hear that Stephen Colbert, Trevor Noah, Gail King, Phil Simms, and SpongeBob SquarePants will be joining Redstone and Bakish to ring the NASDAQ opening bell on Thursday morning. Here is Bakish's welcome to Viacom CBS letter. Employee Town Hall on Thursday. Bakish will hold his Bob Live Town Hall at noon, joined by Sherry Redstone, for a conversation moderated by Nora O'Donnell. Something that's sure to come up. These concerns about synergies, A slash K slash A, expected layoffs. How many people will get the axe is anyone's guess at least for the near term, but layoffs are most definitely in the future for the newly merged company if management is to meet the lofty cost-cutting expectations it has set for itself and start boosting the new company's share price, Fox's Charlie Gasparino and Lydia Moynihan reported Wednesday, citing sources. Read more of Wednesday's Reliable Sources newsletter. And subscribe here to receive future editions in your inbox. Lowry's Big Unknown Q Brian Lowry writes, In the past, I wrote about Sumner Redstone's misguided decision to split up Viacom and CBS, forcing the company to go to great lengths seeking to replicate the synergies and the economies of scale that they would have enjoyed had they stayed together. At the time, though, the obvious plan was to put then CBS chief Leslie Moonves in charge of the entity. With Moonves gone in the wake of sexual misconduct allegations, it raises the cue of whether the current management has what it takes to maximize the combined assets, and whether they're presently formidable enough, given the shift to streaming and the deep pocketed tech players, Amazon, Apple, Google, etc., that have joined the fray.